Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the problem of the day. A replicated chromosome consists of two very long strands of identical chromosomal material called and uh, you have to choose between these five answers. And I would start with drawing a chromosome and any chromosome has two arms. Uh, those uh, in nature, we can find also chromosomes with only one arm, um, telomeric chromosomes, but uh, in human karyotype, we only can find chromosomes that consist of two arms. Sometimes these arms are not equal in size, so we can call that one arm is short arm and another one is a long arm. And chromosome is a single large molecule and here in the center center where we see uh, the thinnest part of the chromosome this is centromere of the chromosome so in uh, human karyotype mm, all the chromosome uh, arranged according to their size uh, uh, the first one number one is the largest and the last one would be uh, autosome uh, 22 and then uh, we have uh, a pair of sex chromosomes uh, X chromosome is almost as large as chromosome number one and uh, another small chromosome that is as small as um, chromosome number 22 is Y chromosome and as I said the position of the centromere uh, may vary depending on the pair of chromosomes. It can be in some pairs in the middle, uh, close to the middle, or close to the end of the chromosome. So uh, this is uh, centromeres. Uh, and what is the genes? Genes are uh, genetic uh, material, uh, DNA that code for uh, proteins. So within a chromosome, we have many genes. If it is a large chromosome, like chromosome number one, it may uh, have more than 1,000 genes. And uh, genes make only 2% of the chromosome. I mean, those genes that code for proteins and 98% of the chromosome uh, has DNA that we call non-coding DNA. A few years ago, like 10, 15 years ago, this um, DNA were called junk DNA. But now scientists find that there are many functions in that non-protein uh, coding DNA. Uh, we can find many uh, sequences there that influence gene expression. So some of those uh, sequences perform a function of gene regulation, and each chromosome on its tips has a repetitive DNA that we call telomeres and telomeres serve uh, the function of protecting uh, DNA from degradation because with each cycle DNA would uh, replicate telomeres would become shorter and shorter so uh, telomeres uh, protect um, DNA of the genes from degradation and when telomeres become very short uh, this trigger mechanism of apoptosis so in other words um, programmed uh, cell death so we spoke about genes and telomeres and uh, also you have to remember that uh, genes consist of uh, sequences that also code for uh, proteins and sequences that doesn't code for proteins and actually in each gene sequences that doesn't code for proteins uh, are much bigger than those uh, segments that code for proteins and we call such segments that doesn't code for proteins introns and sequences that code for proteins we call exons. So um, now we left with uh, chromatids and chromatin. So imagine that if we take a segment of this 
chromosome uh, we would find DNA here and this DNA is not uh, like it's represented here actually uh, DNA always in a live cell can be found uh, in association with proteins these proteins we call nucleosomes and nucleosomes make uh, and other also proteins make about 60 percent of the chromatin and DNA itself make only 30 percent and the rest 10 percent would make uh, RNA because um, in this DNA we also can find uh, sequences of the genes and when those genes expressed we can find uh, also RNA sequences that make another 10%. So all uh, the three components of the chromosome uh, we call chromatin. And chromatin also arranged um, at the different structural levels. Uh, as I said, um, the main uh, protein here that we can find is nucleosome that consists of four proteins and these four proteins also aggregate with another uh, the same four proteins so this is the same protein and this one is also the same protein so DNA uh, winds up uh, this nucleosome that consists of uh, eight histones and uh, if we would take a look uh, at the other level we would find that uh, histones is arranged in even more dense form so DNA would wind up all those nucleosomes and would be even more densely packed and this is not the last level of uh, organization of the chromatin uh, this uh, DNA uh, along with proteins would coil on itself making a visible structure that we call uh, chromosome some histones may be added uh, acetyl groups so um, DNA uh, would be more easily expressed and uh, DNA in its own turn uh, also can have epigenetic uh, markers uh, methyl groups can be added that would uh, turn off these uh, genes and uh, as you know those uh, each cell has um, the same genetic makeup but due to this epigenetic uh, markers some of the genes can be turned off and other cells other genes can be turned off or turn it on this is how those all our cells has the same genetic makeup all our cells make uh, can make different um, cell groups or organs and uh, may have different specialization like skin cell for example and uh, cell of the liver have a totally different function look differently those has the same genetic makeup and uh, when genes are compacted uh, in uh, very dense structures that uh, still can be accessed due to this ep epigenetic uh, changes on the uh, chromosome we can see such structures uh, visually when we use different dyes and you probably saw images of the chromosome uh, with uh, different bands uh, of different color so we call uh, such fragments on the chromosome where there are many genes that is active euchromatin and those uh, fragments that doesn't have uh, active uh, genes we call uh, heterochromatin and heterochromatin makes majority of the chromosome and uh, so uh, now you know what the definition of the chromatin 
And now uh, let's talk about what is a chromatid. Basically, before cell divides, it has to divide uh, also a uh, number of um, chromosomes. And before that, number of chromosomes have to double. So each uh, daughter cell would receive the same amount of uh, chromosomes as uh, mother cell. So uh, here is our chromosome. It represents uh, double helix and double helix unwinds. And now we have two strands of the DNA. Now uh, each strand is single strand and new strand would be built using the previous uh, strand as template. So now we have a um, chromosome that consists of two sister chromatids. Or if I would make another copy here, so you would see that now we have two absolutely identical new chromosomes, but we do not call them chromosomes uh, until they would separate. And at this state, when uh, two sister chromatids are connected in the centromere, we call them sister chromatids. So, uh, the correct answer, as you see, answer B. A replicated chromosome consists of two very long strands of identical chromosomal material called um, chromatids, or, to be exact, sister chromatids. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.